What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button which is the bell icon. We're posting four videos every day so make sure to check back every single day. We're aiming for 20k subscribers and get a deal in the description if you haven't already. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe and bell icon. People aren't seeing our content and that's probably because you haven't hit the bell. Thank you again for all your support. We're so proud of the amazing community that we've built. So we're just taking a really quick look at VeChain here and as we can see, it does look as though we're still chopping up in and around this little range that we have been forming. Basically looking something like this over the past week or so, most top cryptos have actually, actually formed a little range. Over the past week, as you can see, we've just been chopping it up in and around the 55 moving average basically reclaiming it and then losing it and then bouncing at the bottom of the range and then reclaiming it and then losing it with our range basically looking something like this um, and obviously we have a, a wider range looking something like this as well where basically you know right now we're just consolidating in, in between our two EMAs aren't we bouncing off the bottom of the range chopping it up in and around the 55 and consolidating under the 20 as well and it looks as though you know we're when you look at the metrics the on-chain data for the market, it does look as though we are going to get a bounce very, very shortly. Uh, considering how bullish things have been recently, it's been nice to have a bit of a cooling off period for the last, you know. Essentially, it's been about three or four weeks now for VeChain. Just chopping it sideways, basically doing something like this where it's been going sideways. We've obviously got our overall range. Of this uh, whole corrected period we've been in, looking something like this. We obviously come down into it, rolling over, rolling over. We, you can obviously see we've got our descending wedge. We come down, we break out. We bounce to the upside, we reclaim all of our EMAs, etc, etc. But now we're just currently retesting them as support. Basically looking for, you know, potentially a um, potentially a nice little bounce to the upside. There's a lot of people saying that we've got a bit of a head and shoulders pattern looking something like this, but in reality, we're not really seeing it because this event here was a bit of an anomalous occurrence. And we don't really think that this was a justified event. Obviously, there was a, basically the El Salvador crash where lots of people basically sold their Bitcoin and dumped the market when it happened. Basically just selling the news and uh, they probably bought their bags back a lot cheaper and obviously pretty much every crypto had a big uh, correction because of that. But you can see here, you know, things were going pretty, pretty well before that happened and we don't think that that was probably, um, basically it's not really reliable data. So we don't really think that that will be a valid chart pattern and it does seem likely in our opinion, you know, considering that we are, you know, we're getting back into, uh, into you know, more fair value you'd say on our RSI as well. We actually pumped up a lot here. We had some you know bearish divergences. The bearish divergence is now played out. As you can see here, we've come back into fair value, consolidating in and around support, which is really bullish to see. And you know, you'd probably expect a bit of a bounce to the upside fairly soon. So with all that being said, short term price predictions then. If we do lose the bottom of our uh, the bottom of our range here, which has been holding like a beast by the way, we've obviously got some swing lows at around that 10.8 cent level. We've got 10.6 and then also down at that 10 cent level, a very, very strong level of support. We would expect 10 cents to hold as support because it's a very, very strong psychological number if we did roll over. And then obviously we want to reclaim the top of this little range here at around 12 and a half cents. And then we have a target of around 15 and a half cents of this overall range as well. Before, you know, marching onwards to some higher price targets. And then we do think 50 cents to $1, as we always say for VeChain is a very realistic price target. It's in between the 141 here at around 40-ish cents. And then upwards of around this 161 at around 90 cents. We do think somewhere in this region here is a very achievable price target for VeChain. It's probably around, you know, 5 to 10x from the current price. That's it, guys. We'd like to thank everyone so much for their support. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon to stay up to date with the four videos that we post every single day. Remember, if you want to support the channel more directly and get a ton of benefits and insight, as well as joining our growing community, consider the Patreon or YouTube membership down below. You can also sign up to our free Telegram via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto, so go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalists.